Hello, welcome back to this video. It's Leonard here from DataLearner.com, and in today's video, we are actually going to look at spot trading. I want to break it down and for you to get a better understanding of what spot trading is all about and the principle behind spot trading and how you can actually benefit um, from trading spot in the market. Now, when it comes to crypto trading, the basic of it all is spot trading. Um, no matter the exchange you are trading with, whether Binance, whether KuCoin, whether Luno or any other exchange that you want to use to trade Bitcoin, the basic of it all is spot trading. And what is spot trading? What spot trading simply means is you buying a particular asset at a lower price and selling at a higher price. So for instance, the chart I'm looking at right now, let's say you bought Bitcoin here at this particular level here at 32700 and then you waited for this to go up after two or a day or two or thereabout, and then Bitcoin went as high as thirty-five thousand nine hundred. So the profit you would have made in this particular trade here is the difference between when you bought, which is thirty-two seven hundred, and when you sold, which is thirty-five nine hundred. So this would have been your profit, and then you wait for it again. So in in this case now, you started trading Bitcoin with about thirty-three thousand um, dollars or thereabout. So when you start trading this Bitcoin, you now sell at this particular it means that your amount, the investment that you put in of $33,000 is now worth $35,000. So you wait for it again to drop to $33,000 or thereabout. And then you buy here. And when it goes up again, you sell at this particular point here, which is $34,900. So the difference between when you bought and when you sold becomes a profit that you make. And in order to understand this better is just like um, a real businessman or woman out there who goes to as far as a particular from one particular country to another from one particular state to another to buy um, goods and, and, and to come and sell in his or her own um, local area so why they do that is because they want to make profit out of the goods when you buy a particular asset right now the price may um, decrease uh, it doesn't mean that you've lost that or there about because you still have that particular asset. For instance, if I go to the coin market cap here, if for instance I bought Binance coin, let's say 10,000 Binance coin at 33, um, 334 dollars. Um, when this price dropped to 200 dollars, it doesn't mean the price I have only decreased from the value of the price is what is decreasing. But you still have that particular asset that you bought. You still have 10,000 Binance coin. It means what it simply means is that you have to be patient for the price to go above what you bought it for you to be able to profit in the market with that so that is simply what spot trading is all about and in order to have effective spot trading i'm actually going to demonstrate this using binance because binance is one of the popular exchanges, and i know a lot of you use binance so I'm, we are going to be demonstrating this with binance but first in order to be able to trade this market effectively you will need to make use of the coin market cap here you have the list of all the cryptocurrencies listed here and when you click on any of this coin you see the exchanges where you can trade this and then you have the price you have the difference in the last 24 hours in the last seven days and then the market capitalization of that particular asset and then the volume that is traded in the last 24 hours you see all of those then the circulating supply you see all of these details here on the coin market cap so one thing I want you to take note right now is um, before you trade any, if for instance, if you are trading Bitcoin or against the USDT or thereabout, you come in here and check the difference in the last seven days, in the last 24 hours and see what you do. But normally what I advise is to you be able to use the coin market cap. If I click on this 24 hours, the difference in the last 24 hours, these are the top gainers in the market right now. So you can imagine KuCoin. KuCoin is just like um, KuCoin is an exchange actually, one of um, the best exchange out there that is equally like Binance, and they have their own coin. Remember, Binance coin right now is at thirty three, uh, three hundred and thirty four dollars or thereabout. So it all started right now. The KuCoin token is about fourteen dollars, um, and in the last twenty four hours, they have had like thirty percent gain. And in the last seven days, they have like 97% gain. So this is these are the top gainers in the market. You can imagine if you have entered this market in the last seven days, you would have been making this particular amount right here. So this is what you would have been making right 
here and then this happens to all of these coins that you see listed in the market here so if i click on this again it takes us to the losers in the market right now zinc and fine coin is not doing very well in the market so you can actually grab on this opportunity and start trading this coin right now you see that it's dropping in less than a cent is keep dropping and dropping and dropping even the compound coin is equally not doing very well you can actually take opportunity to trade this coin and in the last seven days it has gained up to 57 percent and this one up to 37 percent so when you grab this right now you can now you know start trading this and when it, the difference coming like this one that is minus eight percent or thereabout you can gain this in the, last, in the next 24 hours or thereabout you can gain a whole lot from this so when you come in here you look at the coins that are not doing very well then you can now go to your exchange and start trading um, either your Bitcoin against that coin or your USDT against that particular coin so that is how you make profit from this because your aim is to buy low and sell high your aim is to make profit in the market so you don't come in here and come and start trading these that are already gaining this one that is pushing up to 30 percent there is every tendency that it to start dropping again so you don't come and buy when it is this high and expect to sell low no your aim is to make profit and that is why you need to look at in the last 24 hours which of the coins are doing very well in the last seven days which of the coins are not doing very well so you look at all of this in the last seven days you see that uh, the tether fuel is not doing very well as well in the last seven days but always look at it in the last 24 hours you see the top gainers and then you see the top losers and you start trading those particular pair that way you can make money when there is a difference in price of this particular pair so with that said let's now jump right into binance so when you come to binance let me go to the home page so that you get this very well i'm doing this on a laptop you can do it with your phone as well but advisably if you must trade crypto as a professional it is advisable you use um, a laptop you get a laptop for yourself and what i need to do here on the binance you can click on any of these prices when you see the list of these prices you can click on any of these prices and it will take you to the particular uh, spot exchange so this is your spot exchange this is what it looks like and this is where you'll be doing your buying and selling but what i normally do is i'll click on trade if i over over trade because when you click on any of that coin it takes you directly to um this particular type here which is the classic but i need to use the advanced so i'll click on trade and click on advanced when i click on advanced the interface the difference is just on the interface actually because the buying and selling is almost the same thing the layout of the interface is what differs and the same thing will happen to your phone those of you using phone the layout is what different that is different but all of these options are there you see your order book and you know all of this um you see the chart but where our focus here is where you have the buy tab here and the sell tab so this is where you do your buying and your selling you buy low and you sell high this is all about what spot trading is all about so you buy low you sell high you buy low you sell high that is how you make profit and then beneath this buy low and buy and sell button you have limit you have market and then is this other one here you have spot um stop limit and then equally you have uh, oco hmm? you have oco so if i click on this icon here you see um what an oco is what the stop limit is one oco simply means one cancels the other so that is what oco means and then you have stop limit we'll look at this in detail so on the limit here limit means that you are going to specify the price at which you want to enter the market so that is what you are going to do for instance if i come in here to the chart here um let's say we want to buy bitcoin when it comes down to thirty two thousand dollars so if i hover over here let me just draw the line here if i draw a line somewhere around here you see that bitcoin at this line that i just drawn here is about 32 let me make this bolder $32,977 so if i want to buy bitcoin at this price all i just need to do is to use this limit so uh, you don't need to sit down here and be watching actually this you can set this and it is good automatically when they con once the conditions are made so you come in here and specify that particular price that okay i want to buy bitcoin now the bitcoin i bought at this particular price i've sold it here so i want to buy again when it drops down to this level so you come in here and put in the price at which you want to buy 
and then the amount of bitcoin you want to buy if you can use 100 percent of the amount you have on your account by just dragging this slide over to the end you can use 100 percent of the amount you have on your account to do that um, i'm actually on the sell tab so let's go to the buy tab you specify the amount here let's say you want to buy at 33 thousand usdt and then the amount you can come in here to drag you can use 50 percent of the amount you have on your account 100 percent or whatever either 70 or 100 percent and then you go ahead and click on buy this order once you click on buy it should be appearing here so if i want to buy bitcoin at 33 on the limit order just go ahead and click on buy and when I click on buy, it will be pending. This is where you will see your order pending. So this will only be executed once these conditions of uh, $33,000 are met. So when once Bitcoin gets to $33,000, it means that I will be able to buy Bitcoin at this price. So that is how you will go ahead and place your order here um, using the limit. And the market means you are buying Bitcoin at the current price of the market right now right now it's at 34 700 plus so when i use market i just need to specify if i want to use 100 percent of my amount to buy and then you just go ahead and use the slider or you put in the amount you want to use to buy here and then you click on buy and this will be executed immediately it means you'll be having bitcoin worth whatever amount you have on your account and then if you want to sell the same thing you can now sell limit say okay bitcoin is right now 34 i want to sell when it gets to thirty six thousand dollars so you go ahead and specify the amount here thirty six thousand using the limit order and then you specify the amount of bitcoin you want to sell or there about you go ahead and, and use a slider or put in the amount here and click on sell and that will sell your bitcoin and the same thing uh, um, happens when it comes to market but let's say you bought at thirty three thousand and right now you want to sell at 34 you just go ahead and click on the market and then you just drag the amount of bitcoin you want to sell if it is 50 percent 100 or there about you go ahead and sell and that market will be executed immediately top limit is you are going if for instance if i click on it you see these three different options so you can say okay i want to buy bitcoin or sell but yeah buy bitcoin at a particular price which is thirty two thousand. you go ahead and put the stop where you want it to the, this to be triggered you go ahead and put in the amount and then the limit will be a little bit lesser than the the stop so if i'm entering the price i uh, want to is a particular uh, price to execute at uh, thirty two thousand nine hundred it means that i'll put in the stop here when it will be triggered at 32900 then the limit will not be somewhere below it at uh, 32400 or thereabout so that is how you use this and if you click on this little icon here and uh, binance have a, um, a little explanation that tells you what this is so to buy or sell a coin once the price the stop limit means to buy and sell a coin once the price which is a specified price so the prices you are going to specify here is what this price is going to be executed and then for the o um this other last option here you have here the oco which is which simply stands for one cancels the other it means that when you are using stop limit and the oco will they, they, once the conditions are not met the particular uh, this particular order this particular one here will mean that cancel the order order which when a particular condition is not met so basically but majorly this is where you want to um, you know focus on market and limit when you want to start trading spot and that is how you do this on spot you don't really lose your money as i said earlier you can trade um the us dollar against bitcoin you can trade a bitcoin against any other coin for instance if i come back here to the coin market cap and let's say this particular coin that is not doing well if i have one bitcoin and i bought zen coin at this particular price uh, at a, uh, this particular stage here which is, we are right now and once this increases by one percent or two percent i'll be having more of this coin and when i convert it to bitcoin i'll be having more of bitcoin so if i bought let's say one million of these using bitcoin it doesn't mean that my price my, my 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 if the price reduces keep reducing let's say we have minus 10 percent here it doesn't mean that you lose you still have that 1 million or 10 million worth of the zinc coin the zinc fine coin that you bought and once the price increases you are going to sell that and you will be 
in profit so basically that is um what spot trading is all about and whatever order that you execute here you'll be seeing them listed here both the open order the history you see all of the details down here so that is how you do spot trading it is um but if you want to go more advanced which we'll be um, talking of in, in maybe in our subsequent videos you will go with features you trade derivatives this is where the money is here on derivative though it is more risky actually because here you you just guess when the pack market is going up you you make money when the market is going down you make money that is what derivative trading is all about when we talk about features trading we'll look at that in the future and um you start making money with that but the basic if you are just beginning the basic to do um, to start trading crypto market is using spot trading and with that being said there is actually an app I, i'll make videos on how to use that app um that is a bot a bot you can link up to your binance account with um via api and it handles all of this buying and selling buy low sell high automatically for you and so far that app has been performing very well link will be in the video um, below this video you can go download that app and link it up for those of you who don't have time you can actually put in a little money here and the app handles that buying and selling stuff for you and after one moment you come and see the difference for yourself so the app is actually called royal q the, the the link to download the app will be in the video description so just go ahead and download that app and you can set it up and i'll make a video um to on her step by step on how to set up the app and you can use that to actually start trading um spot basically this what that app has access to is to trade on your spot account on your binance it does that automatically and uh, for those of you who will be asking is my money safe yes your money is safe because all the money that the app will be trading with is on your binance account you're only giving the app a permission to trade on your account you're not giving the app a permission to withdraw your money you're not going to send your money to the app so it's just a bot that is linked to your binance via api that you can use to be trading and this can handle the uh, spot trading automatically for you so in that case that is what i do i use the app to trade my spot to automate all my spot trading why i do the futures trading myself because this is where the money is this with futures trading if you know what you are doing um which is the essence of making these videos uh, tutorials if you know what you are doing you can raise a particular little amount of money to a very huge amount of money trading spot on a the trading features on a daily basis so that is it about this video and um, if you are stuck with anything you can always leave comments below and um, we can always provide answers when needed so i will see you in the next video